in this video we are going to see the chemical vapor deposition process uh, in the last class we saw the uh, we started the 15 unit we, the half of the 15 unit uh, we were completed only two topics were left uh, one is nothing but the chemical vapor deposition process another one is nothing but the salt gel process so in this video we are going to see the chemical vapor deposition process they will call it the CVD CVD involves the dissociation and or sometimes it's called chemical reactions of gases reactant okay gases reactant in an activated environment like a activated environments are like a heat light plasma okay followed by the formation of a stable solid product here you can see this some solid products are burning so that burning is called with the help of the heat okay so the reactions will be gases to react, gases are making reaction to continuous burning process the formation of fuel due to the incomplete oxidation of firewood since the prehistoric time is probably the oldest example of the deposition using the cvd okay uh, the pattern uh, the pattern uh, this is patterned by d lodi jeon in 19 uh, sorry in 1893 on the deposition of W onto the carbon lamp filament through the reduction of W reduction of W L C L three C L six by H two lead to the industrial exploration of C V D. Okay, then what is C V D? Chemical vapor deposition is a process whereby a solid material is deposited from a vapor by chemical reaction occurring or on in the vicinity that is vacuum of a normally heated substrate surface okay here you can see this the mm, solid material is deposited from a vapor that is a very important by here solid material is deposited from a vapor okay yes uh, solid material is obtained as a coating or a powder or a single crystal so by varying the experimental condition substrate material substrate temperature composition of re uh, reaction gas mixture total pressure gas flows etc that will be uh, give us a material with different properties can be grown so chemical vapor deposition is the example of solid vapor reaction okay next day, the main components of the chemical vapor reaction okay uh, chemical vapor reaction the role of the uh, this component is to generate vapor precautions and then deliver to the reactor the design of the cvd reactor depends on whether the starting material is solid liquid or gas the sub limitation of a solid precaution depends on the surface area of the solid and contact tank liquid sources of and use a bubbler to vaporize the reactant and yeah carrier gases like a h2 or inert gases like argon okay to transport the vaporized reactant into the reactor then here you can see this the reactor cvd reactor hot weld there it will be uh, given as two types one is hot weld reactor another one is cold weld reactor here in the substrate like a vapor okay vapor uh, substrate like a vapor here you can see this that is substrate or they will call as the vapor and the walls of the reactor are heated continuously they will heated the homogeneous temperature is maintained inside the uh, reaction chamber so the source material will be uh, sent into the inside the reactor due to that some uh, reaction will be taken place then after the reaction it will be sent out okay then what happened the the main disorder is of this hot well reactors the contamination will be takes place to the source material okay but the carrier gases comes the uh, source material directly cold water reactor the reactor uses heating systems that minimize the heating of the up of the reactor was while the wafer is being heated up the temperature is not homogeneous inside the reaction chamber because of this is a cold wall reactor so we are not maintaining the same temperature disadvantage of the cold reactor world wall reactor is it is difficult to get a uniform layer, layer of the film then the effluent gas handling system the component consists of a neutralizing part of the exhaust gases 
and are a vacuum system to provide the required reduced pressure for the CVD process that performs at low pressure or high vacuum during deposition. The the unreacted precautions and corrosive byproducts such as HCl are neutralized or tapered, uh, trapped. Sorry, tra it's trapped using a liquid nitrogen trap. The inflammable gases such as hydrogen are burned off. That is inflammable that will be also burned off. Unreacted expansive precautions may be collected at the outlet and or sometimes it will be recycled. Here you can see this CVD equipment. They will show this consists of the uh, pure panel, pressurized gas, gas metering, then mass flow controller, then gas inlet, then uh, RF power source supply, uh, magnetic network, deposition chamber, then gas outlet, exhaust pump, then waste treatment also. So in this in this in a typical by a CVD process, the substance is exposed to one or more uh, volatile precautions which react and decompose on the substrate surface to produce a produce the desired deposit. During this process, volatile uh, byproducts are also produced, which are removed by the gas flow through the reaction chamber. Steps involved: transport of reactants. The one we are having, uh, the seven steps having it. Uh, it has. So, first step is nothing but the transport of reactants by the post conversion to the deposition region. Then, after that, what will happen? That uh, transport of uh, reactants by the diffusion from the main gas stream to the substrate surface, absorption of reactants in the substrate surface. After that, the chemical deposition on the other surface of the reactions take place. Then, the subsorption of byproducts from the surface after that the transport of, of byproducts by diffusion then transport of uh, byproducts by post convection away from the deposition of the region so here it will take seven steps then here, this is the mechanism first the main gas is closed flow, flow after that what will happen the gas phase takes the some reaction because with help of the transport to how the surface uh, uh, take some uh, transport to the surface uh, uh, after the reaction phase. So, if uh, the surface diffusion will be take place with, with the help of the absorption of uh, film precursors, then uh, some of the de uh, desubsorption of precursors will be go upward direction, then nucleation and the isolation growth will be occurs, then finally the de uh, desubsorption of the voltage surface reaction products are more side then then types low pressure cvd then metal organic cvd photon laser cvd then plasma inertia cvd then atomic pressure cvd this is the uh, various steps of the cvd process then first we are going to see the atomic pressure chemical vapor deposition it works the at atomic pressure and uh, it is used to deposit a various uh, sorry layers of the material typically several micrometers thick onto the wafer or other substrate of other type of the substrate. It is also used as a surface finishing process for items such as tools and uh, turbine blades to improve the lifetime and performance. Since a vacuum system is not required, this atomic pressure chemical vapor deposition system have relatively low operating cost. It has high, uh, it has a inherently over utilization and uh, extremely susceptible to oxidation due to the greater gas density and residence time. Then, uh, now we are going to see the low pressure, uh, low pressure chemical vapor disposition. Here, the coating exhibits excellent uh, uniformity, high purity, and good step coverage. It works at uh, sub atomic pressure. Reduced pressure tends to uh, reduce unwanted gas phase reaction and improve film uniformity across the vapor. The low air pressure increases the precaution diffusion through the gas and the mass transfer rate of the gases reactant becomes high higher than the surface reaction. The pressure of uh, LP CVD is usually around 10 to 1000 Pascal while the standard atmosphere pressure is uh, 101 
325 pascals. Then, in the metal organic uh, chemical vaporization deposition, are used as a molecular precursors to deposit a wide variety of thin film materials for new new industrial applications. New industrial applications. The great advantage of the M O C V D precursors are their high volatility uh, at moderate at moderate to low temperature. Therefore, reactions temperatures are lower than conventional C V D. The main disadvantages are the precursors tend to be very expensive and are very volatile. When reactive liquids are used, then require accurate pressure control and difficult to purify. Then, in the laser chemical vapor deposition, LCBD uses a focused laser beam to heat the substrate. Here, it is showing that heat the substrate with the help of the laser beam. It also has the ability to locally heat a part of the substrate while passing the reactant gas thereby uh, indu inducing film deposition by locally driving the CVD reaction at the surface. It is used to deposit micro scale solid patterns or three dimensional structures on the surface of the substrate by localized, localized single step process. Next, plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition. Uh, it is used to deposit silicon oxide, silicon nitri nitrate, then like that, uh, silicon uh, silicon uh, uh, silicon nitrate formations or silicon or, uh, oxide with help with nitrate and amorphous silicon films. Plasma can be used to uh, decompose a molecule that will not decompose the reasonable elevated temperature. It can be used to decompose the thermal unstable molecule, but uh, at a much lower temperature only. In plasma, the CVD substrate that can not tolerate high temperature such as plasma uh, polymers can be used whereas substrate substrate temperature ranges from 5 up to 500 degree only it starts with 100 degrees Celsius. then advantage cvd films are generally quite comfort uh, conformal uh, the ability of a yeah, film to uniformly coat a yeah, topological complex substrate then high purity can be obtained high density nearly 100 percentage of theoretical value then material formation well below the melting point economical in production since many parts can be coated at the same time then disadvantages are chemical and safety hazards caused by the use of toxic corrosive flammable and also explosive precursors okay therefore extra steps have to be taken in the handling of precursors and in the treatment of the reactor excess. High deposit temperature are often unsuitable for structure already fabricated or substrate. Restriction on the kind of the substrate that can be coated. It leads to stresses in film deposited on material with a different thermal expansion coefficient which can cause mechanical instabilities in the deposited Films. Okay, then applications are coating for a variety of applications such as wear resistance, corrosion resistance, high temperature productions, semiconductors and related devices, integrated circuit sensors and optical optic, uh, auto electronic devices uh, such uh, things that we can use, fiber optic. So, I like it, uh, fiber optics in the fiber optics applications also we it will be using. Then, used in the, the microelectronic industry to make the films serving as a dielectric, conductors, passivation layers, then oxidation barriers and toxic layers. So, up to this, we saw the CVD process. Uh, then, in the upcoming class, we are going to see the sol gel process.